Come with Iron Comic Tom. You can just sit in the back. Don't sit on the comics. I wasn't born in 76 because I was born in 2003. Uh, now we're getting close to the real heat. Yeah, we are about to go and see some experts. This guy used to be good, but he now works at a flea market. Ah, now we're getting close to the real heat. Excuse me, guys. Since you're one of the most powerful dealers in the world, we wanted to come and give you a interview. Now, this is Brad. I've known Brad since 1993. By the way, Brad has been selling comics since... Selling. Selling. 19... 1974? 1974. Brad, a proud owners of one of the biggest pre-hero Marvel collections, I think, in the world. That, would you say, Brad? I, I did it for about 20 years, from 1986 to about 1996. I just got everything I could. I just was crazy for horror, bondage, sci-fi, <laughs> terror, injury yes. to eyeball. And by the way, many, many years ago, Brad hired me. Just found another one. These things oh, are yeah. trending like crazy. They are. But by the way, many years ago, Brad hired me, I used to know my computer stuff, to catalog his collection. I'm sorry, no. Yeah. That didn't happen. It did. New business here. What is going on? It was on a screen like this. But the good thing is, is that Brad, everything is great. We've got a full audience here. What do you think of this show? Hey, it's just great to be back. Uh, thank you, San Diego. Thank you, everybody, all the fans, all the people who love comics. I get tickled just to be here. It, it's always a pleasure. If I don't sell great, I run around and buy. It, it, this is where all the books are, all of them. Everything you want is here in multiple, in high grade, low grade, million dollar books all around. It's the best, and it always will be. It was the originator. It's the one and only Comic Con. It's the one that created the world. Nice, nice. That's, that's actually very good. All right, here we are with Comic Tom. Of course, anyone that's been on the internet cyberspace platform world since I've been broadcasting through the powers of the internet since 2018. I mean, Comic Tom has slowly but surely been raising his influence, his thought patterns through the ether. So everyone has heard of Comic Tom, but here he is live on the floor here at San Diego, 2022. We're back. We're back. That's great. By the way, I first met Tom many years ago when he bought yes. a nice Iron Man 55 for ah! me. <laughs> that is true. He bought a nice Iron Man 55 and I said, what are you going to do with it? And he said, I'm going to give it away. <laughs> and I was like, true. I was like, wow, these young new kids coming into the industry, I don't think they're going to last long. Boom, was I wrong, Comic Tom? Okay, so that same con, the end of the show, we needed a ride back to the hotel. This guy in the front seat with his homies in a sea of long boxes says, you can just sit in the back, <laughs> just don't sit on the comics. So Jeff and myself are sandwiched between longs while this guy is driving on the streets of California. It was a good time. Good I don't time. recommend it, but, but you're, yes. you're safe in a car with Steve. I can at least yes. attest to that. After I found out what Comic Tom was doing, he showed me a little video. Wow, someone's doing a box opening? What What is a box opening? <laughs> Uh, here is the future of comic retailing, Mr. Comic Tom. There's some new guys coming into town with new ideas, and the dinosaurs are going away. Oh my gosh. No, the dinosaurs aren't going away. <laughs> dinosaurs are what paved the way for all of this ah, to be here. Yeah. And the only reason why I make content is to entertain people like you who I look up to, who know the hell out of comics and funny books more than 99% <laughs> of human beings. Like, you're filled with a vast of knowledge. I've learned so much from you guys. It's just from buying from you, let alone from our friendship. Go to Torpedo Comics, go behind the booth, take a look at some of the best expensive paper in the world, and talk to the peeps there because you'll learn so much about funny books. There's probably going to be 10,000 new things from Comic Tom coming along. <laughs> I don't know what you got coming up next, but it's probably going to be like, what's Tom doing today? Keep following me at Comic Tom 101, and we'll, you'll find out. Oh! Oh! Actually, we're very lucky right now. It's a little bit more room than we used to. Oh. By the way, uh, Phil is basically I my Will, is my twin. <laughs> He's into all the stuff that I'm into. You read the same stuff that I did. We had the same, you know, likes and dislikes. That I don't know about. When did you start selling comics? 
When did I start selling, selling comics? Selling. I set up at the flea market and started selling when I was 14 years old. So that was what, I couldn't. 1953? <laughs> 52. Wow! No, I, I couldn't get a paper route at the time, so I was trying to make some extra money, so I would sell off my duplicates at the flea market. Wow. 14, uh, uh, what, 15 years old. So what year is that? 76. 76! Wow, so Brad started in 74, and here we have Phil, 76. Yes. Wow. Were you Incredible born stuff. Yet? I wasn't born in 76 because I was born in 2003. Uh, I see, yes. <laughs> what are you most excited to see this year? Besides seeing my friends I haven't seen in quite some time, just old customers and, and uh, people in general. We're getting back to normal and having a nice convention. Yeah, because some of the dealers haven't seen each other in three years. Champion Comics. Champion yeah. Comics here with Phil. Okay, so keep that in mind. Boom!